Hi, it's Rob from RobLoveFoto.com with a book review of In Our Time, The World as Seen by Magnum Photographers. And I have to say, this is probably behind Requiem, the story of the photographers who lived and died in um, Indochina and Vietnam. This is probably one of my favourite photo books. Um, Magnum was a, well still is, a photo agency founded by the likes of Robert Kappa and Henri Cartier-Bresson who were dedicated to sending their photographers all over the world recording news events, working normally independently from um, people like the uh, Associated Press or newspapers so that they could really bring their own vision of maybe truth to uh, to photojournalism and they sort of changed the face of photojournalism forever they really championed the idea that photographers owned their own work as well and retained the copyright to their images so that they could carry on making money off them long after they were published but that's enough of the introduction let's actually have a look inside the book and what we get um, at the beginning there's some nice um, essays about the sort of the history of photography and photojournalism and then also we have some stories about Magnum and the history of Magnum and how it developed but we'll kind of skip past them because what's really great about this book is the number and the quality and the beauty of uh, the photograph there's a bunch of Magnum photographers that they're getting to get together and then you know then we're straight into you know there we go Henri Cartier-Bresson um, one of his uh, famous images uh, David Seymour um, another Henri Cartier-Bresson image and as you can see the photographs are reproduced I know there's a lot of glare on, in here from the from the lights but the photo photographs are reproduced beautifully nice and large the quality of the paper is very very nice on this book um, and basically we're following sort of the history of the the world over the last sort of 50 years um, not in any particular chronological order uh, there's a Capra image there's a, another incredibly famous Capra image of uh, that's meant to be one of the last allied soldiers to die in Europe in World War II um, and we go through everything you know there's Europe, Africa, Asia, conflict, peacetime um, civilians um, everyday life you know whatever the magnum photographers were taking pictures of is here in this book in both uh, black and white that's a great great image that one by Martin Frank just both in um, black and white and as I said before in sumptuous um, colour as well it's a bit you can't really describe the quality of this book and the greatness of this book in a, a little short video um, I just sort of say that if there's one photography book you've got in your collection that's, that you read then this is probably one of them because image after image are just fantastic and there's just so many of them as well there's <laughs> just so many photographs in there that you can look at you know and the great thing is they're big as well so you can really look at the detail um, and it's worth coming back time and time again to uh, look at these different photographs um, another Henri Cartier-Bresson shot um, and yeah so there it is really um, a fantastic photo book full of fantastic photographs um, that just inspires anybody who's into photography who wants to have a look at it so that's in our time the world is seen by magnum Phot photographers by william manchester um, and with essays by jean le Coutre and fred richin um, who's it published by let's have a look published by the american federation of arts it says but there we go definitely worth hunting down if you can't buy a copy go to your local library and order it in because you won't regret it right thanks for watching my name's rob from robnonphoto.com and i'll be seeing you on Flickr.